This video is going to be a continuation of yesterday's video where we're talking about the difference between prepping and prompting. In this video, we're going to be using ChatGPT4 in order to do some prepping, and I'm going to show you the real power of this method. We're also going to be using plugins to create some unique content, so let's just dive straight into it. If you're wondering what kind of article you can expect using this method, then this is a great example right here. This is the article that I created today using the exact method that I'm going to show you in this video. We can see we have tables, we have um, graphs, we have pie charts, we have some really, really interesting content. We have our product embedded, which I do myself. And you can see that this article is already on Google. This article was written today. So, I mean, it was written probably four or five hours ago. I didn't even subject it submit it to search console so yeah the content made is just really really good this is also on two men not on isu so the authority is not quite as good on two men obviously so we know that this method is working pretty well so let's talk about this method the first part of this is to say i need help writing a blog post today you are an seo you are seo writer gpt you will only start writing the article when i say let's go chat gpt when you write the article, you will use burstiness and creativity. You will create internal links using anchor text and Ahref links. You will use lists and tables when there are walls of text to make everything more readable. Do you understand? I'm going to start calling this the do you understand prep prepping method or something like that. I really, really like the use of um, do you understand at the end. So we're going to keep things simple. I'm going to say I want you to write about 70s fashion for men. This is just a keyword I found from Google Ads AdWords. Bringing vintage back. While writing, I want you to mention my most important brands and always internally link to them. You can create an internal link by adding slash collections before the brand name. For example, slash collections slash Kiton. My brands are Kiton, Cesare Attellini, Santoni, Isaia, Marco Pescarolo. So we're going to hit enter here. And then we're going to find a few blog posts that we can use um, basically for this article. I do have a list of all of my blog posts here. So I'm just going to choose some random ones here. I'm going to choose this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, and let's say this one. Okay. So we're going to put these inside here. We're just going to clean the data real quick. So I'm just going to remove lock and then HTTPS slash slash two men dot it. So we'll place all and then we'll remove, uh, like that lock replace all okay so now we have our internal links so i'm going to say i also want you to try to include links to these blog posts so now i'm going to say please give me a comprehensive outline for this blog post so I guess it's given me a pretty uh, comprehensive outline here. So we'll just jump in here. We'll take these first two points here and we'll say, let's go chat GPT. Then we'll say, write the first part of the, write the first two parts of this blog post. Do not forget internal links, only use each internal link, link once. Please don't forget tables and lists. Okay, now I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so we can see the article starting to take some form now. So let's grab the next two sections and say, write the next two sections. Copy and paste like that. Press enter. And that's going to do exactly the same thing here. Okay, so that is that part done as well. And now let's finish it off with these parts here. Finish the article. And then that's going to do all of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell ChatGPT to just write the entire article out for us once. Okay, so that is now done. So we're going to say, please now write out the entire article without changing anything except making sure each internal link is only used once. Okay, so we are pretty much done now. Well, you could actually be finished now if you wanted to be, but 
Um, I like to do just one more thing. So first of all, we'll copy this, put this into Markdown to HTML. You can now edit it here if you want to edit it in any way, change an internal link, whatever it might be. Um, but I want to do something else just at the end. So we'll just quickly copy this here. I think it's just made up some internal links, which is quite common for ChatGPT. So let's have a little look if it has. Yep, these are all made up links. So we'll just delete this. Let's just get rid of this additional resources section because they are completely made up links. Okay, this is the completed article. We now have the raw HTML of this completed article or the markdown. What I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna take this into a new chat GPT. I'm gonna add plugins and I'm using these three plugins, graph construct, to mermaid chart and diagram. I don't know where diagram is, but it's called diagram. And I'm going to say, please visualize any data in this. Please, please use the plugins to visualize any data in this article. Then rewrite the article exactly as it is now, but in Markdown, but add the visualizations. For example, a graph, a pie chart, a spider diagram, whatever works. Okay, and then this should be in um, Markdown, which it is. So it should use the plugins here to do exactly what I just asked it to. Okay, so the hilarious thing about this is that it wasn't working, so I, I prepped it instead, and I said, I want to use the plugins to visualize data from an article. Do you understand? This is actually really funny that I tried to do it as a normal prompt. It wasn't working, and then I prepped it, and it worked. Absolutely, I can help you with that. Could you please provide me with the data, blah, 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 and I said, anything that you think works best for this article. I pasted the article, and uh, ChatGPT said, thank you. I think a bar graph would be good, a pie chart or a mind map. And then I said, create all three and then add them to the article, rewrite the article with the added graph charts and mind map. That is exactly what it should do right now. So let's just take a look what's going on. That looks good. That looks fine. Mermaid isn't working as usual, but that's fine. Okay, so this should be the final product here. Let's click on copy. It's gonna have, we're gonna have to delete a lot of the annoying stuff here, but we'll put this in markdown to HTML like this. We'll delete this and let's go to the bottom and we'll delete this too. Okay, this should be the entire article. As you can see, it has the graph, has the pie chart. The table seems to have been lost, which can happen during this process, but it's very, very easy to just add it back. We'll just scroll up and we'll take our table from here. And um, we'll add it, I don't know, let's just add it here, I guess. Okay, perfect. We now have a complete article with tables, lists, pictures, whatever the hell you want. What I personally do now is I add this to Shopify using raw HTML. And then what I do is I embed my collections. So I would embed the Kiton collection under the Kiton subheading, Cesare Artellini under the Cesare Artellini one, et cetera, et cetera. The end result is, let's just see how many words this is. So we'll paste this into a Google Doc. We'll hit word count, 869, not bad at all. This is the kind of content that will rank well on Google. I really, really like this method. This is how I'm currently creating my content. So I'll keep you guys updated to see how it's ranking. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.